All right, well, with all the parks closed, provincial parks closed in BC due to you know what, been needing to find different areas to herp. Some of my usual spots are shut down, but uh, I got permission to herp in this area that I'm in today. I actually came here a couple days ago uh, just hoping. It was a pretty cold, windy day, but I came and checked out the area and actually found um, a nice yellow-bellied racer that I'll put some footage of in here. So that's from a couple days ago, and then I'm out here again, and um, my wife has actually been the one to find the snake so far. We've got two so far that I'll include some footage of and then whatever else we might find in the time we have here. Okay, so I just came across a fairly large yellow-bellied racer. There he is in the grass. And they are very quick. So I'm gonna see if I can catch him. But uh wasn't really expecting to find anything today, but here is a snake. It's quite a cold wind today and um normally these guys are off like a shot, but he didn't even move when I came up to him. It's a nice size. Usually the racers I find are smaller than this. This is a decent sized yellow bellied racer and he is just chilling I'll say it for Micah. First snake of the day. My wife found this gopher snake just basking in the grass. Oh, and he found a hole. And there he goes. Nice. So my wife just found another snake that I'm pretty excited about. We'll try and come around so I'm not shadowing it. It's a baby yellow-bellied racer. Oh, he's going. Okay, I don't know if I'm getting any of him on video, so I'm just gonna try and catch him here. This is a juvenile yellow-bellied racer special find because when they're adults they're just straight gray these ones have the pattern on them obviously you can see and his eyes big black and beautiful in my opinion at least and my wife has found snake number two for the day she's a champ The funniest part about all this is that my wife, quote unquote, says she is purposely walking in places where she doesn't think she'll find any snakes. Whereas I, of course, am looking as hard as I can 
but she's the one who keeps finding them. Go figure. Okay, I'm in a new spot. It's a little bit later in the day. And as found, you see this snake? Got another gopher snake, looks like a good size. Pretty cool, let's see if he moves. The sun has come back out and it's like, I was just thinking to myself, it's the perfect time for snakes to be on the crawl. And here's this guy. I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can get some good pictures of him. Okay, so I tried to gently pick him up because I'd like to be able to show my son and he got defensive very quick here as you can see. These snakes are not venomous, but he is being playing tough guy with me, which is okay. I won't uh, bother him too much, but it's cool to see how he follows me here. He's ready to give me a warning strike, maybe. Put my hand over here. But uh, we'll wait till he calms down before I try and pick him up. Of course, right after I stopped videoing, he did a very loud hiss at me, so I'll see if he'll do that again. When you know the difference, it's pretty easy to tell these guys from rattlesnakes, but part of their defensive behavior is, is to make themselves look as much like a rattlesnake as they can, so you'll see he's flattened out his head. Rattlesnakes have more of that triangular head shape and he'll do that to mimic them. They'll also a lot of the times they'll shake their tail. He's not doing it right now but they'll try and shake their tail to mimic what a rattlesnake sounds like. And then they also like to do this loud hissing that I'm hoping he'll do again here for the camera. We'll see. That is exactly what I meant by hissing. I don't want him to bite me. Even when I walk away, he's keeping his eye on me. He has no interest in being a nice snake today, which is too bad, but good for video. Gotta test out the new hook, right? Yeah. My wife kindly brought me my hook because this guy is just not letting me get anywhere near him but I just wanted to get a little bit of better footage of his size. So there he is. He's still grumpy. Just gonna let him go on his way because he is not being very nice. But still a cool snake.
See you later, dude. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Pretty good. One snake in a day is always good, but today was three. Two found by my wife, which is pretty impressive. And uh, I'll include the footage from a couple days ago, too, of the, the racer I found, because that was a pretty cool snake, and I got some good video of him. As always, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Herping BC is now... We might need to change our name, because... Uh, it's we're, we're two brothers but one brother just moved to alberta so maybe now we're herping western canada i'm not sure but uh thanks for watching